Hello, my name is Bo Yu. In this talk, I will introduce the business story behind the product at Perception and present the computing system of Perception's low-speed vehicles, in which autonomous vehicle tasks are mapped onto a heterogeneous computing platform to gain performance and energy efficiency. Perception was established in 2006 to develop visual perception technologies for autonomous vehicles and robots. We developed a vision-based sensor suite, which provides sensory data for robotic perception and localization tasks, combined with path planning and various vehicle control model, we built up a complete software stack for autonomous machines. Since its inception, Perception has successfully attracted over 10 million US dollars of venture capital funding from Warden International, Matrix Partners, and Samsung Ventures. At present, Perception is an international technology company with operations in the US, Japan, Europe, and Asia. This is the overview of this talk. The first part is the business story behind this paper. It's about options we made during developing our low-speed vehicles and the lessons learned from the development. Then I will go through the on-vehicle computing system of our vehicle by presenting the end-to-end -end algorithm pipeline, hardware design exploration, and algorithm mapping. The third part is about our FPG design for localization system. It's the summary of our previ previous efforts on the accelerator design for robotic localization tasks. The last part is our ongoing work on FPG localization system and conclusion. Perception produces low-speed vehicles for micro-mobility. Micromobility is a rising transport mode wherein lightweight vehicles cover short trips that massive transit ignore. According to U.S. Department of Transportation, 60% of vehicle traffic is attributed to trips under 5 miles. Transportation needs in short trips are underserved by current mass transit system due to high cost, which affects the society profoundly. For instance, people who have difficulties getting to and from transit station forego job opportunities, access to healthy food, and preventative medical care. Micromobility bridge transit services and the community's needs driving the rise of mobility as a service. This video shows our low-speed vehicle operating in Japan. Profit micro-mobility services require low-cost autonomous vehicles. The computing system is a significant contributor to cost. We have considered three kinds of computing platforms for our vehicle. The first option is to optimize the commercial of the shell mobile system on chip computing systems. This approach brings several benefits. First, since mobile SOCs have reached economics of scale, it will have been most beneficial for Persepin to build its technology stack on affordable, backward compatible computing systems. Second, Perception's vehicle target micromobilities with limited speeds, similar to mobile robots. 
for which mobile SOCs have been demonstrated before. However, an extensive study is required to fully understand the mobile SOC's suitability for autom autonomous driving. This may delay Perceptin's product launch by six months. The second option is to use specialized autonomous driving computing systems. There were commercial computing platforms specialized for autonomous driving, such as those from NSP, MobileEye, and NVIDIA. They are mostly ASIC-based chips that provide high performance at a much higher cost. For instance, the first generation of NVIDIA PS2 system cost over $10,000 US dollar. Besides the cost issue, these computing systems mostly accelerate only the perception function in autonomous driving. Whereas perception requires a system that optimize the end-to-end -end performance. The third option is to develop of customized uh, autom autonomous driving computing systems. Developing a customized computing system guarantees that Perceptin has the most suitable system for customers and for its workloads. But this also means Perceptin need to invest a significant amount of financial and personal resources on this project. Also, the investment doesn't guarantee the success of this project. It's a huge and risky bet for a for startup like Perceptin. Uh, we finally adopt Option 3 for our product. This section introduces our um, vehicle computing system. Here is the overview of the sensors equipped on the vehicle. We use cameras as the major sensor and develop the sensor suite Dragonfly for our vehicle. Dragonfly integrates two sets of stereo cameras, which covers forward and backward regions respectively. Stereo cameras enable depth estimation and object detection. Dragonfly also contains an IMU, which enables visual inertial odometry for pose estimation. Besides Dragonfly, radars and sonars are used to cover short range regions and to provide the no blind spot perception coverage for our vehicles. This is our on vehicle processing software system which consists of three parts, sensing, perception, and planning. The sensing module bridges sensors and the computing system. It synchronizes various sensor samples for the downstream perception module. Perception performs two fundamental tasks. One is locating the vehicle itself in a global map and the other is understanding the environment through depth estimation and object detection. The planning module uses perception results to devise a drivable route and then converts the planned path into a sequence of control commands, which will drive the vehicle along the path. The control commands are sent to the vehicle's engine control unit via the CAN bus interface. The table summarizes the algorithm used by our computing system. Our localization module is based on the classic visual inertial odometry algorithm which use camera images and IMU samples to estimate the vehicle's position in the global map. Depth estimation use stereo vision algorithms, which calculate object depth by processing 
the two slightly different images captured from a sterile camera pair. In particular, we use the classic ELAS algorithm, which uses handcraft features. We detect objects using DNN modules. Object detection is the only task in our current pipeline, where the accuracy provided by deep learning justifies the overhead. An object, once detected, is checked across time until the next set of detected objects are, avail are available. We use a KCF as a baseline tracking algorithm. From the software pipeline, we can see that different sensor processes are independent. Sensing, perception, and planning are serialized they are all on the critical path of the end-to-end -end latency. So we pipeline the three modules to improve the throughput. Within perception, localization and scene understanding are independent and could be executed in parallel. The task level parallelism determines how the tasks are mapped to the hardware platform. The end-to-end -end latency of the computing system is the time between when a new event is sensed in the environment and when the vehicle fully stops. The end-to-end -end latency must be short enough to avoid hitting objects. The throughput qualified in the number of control commands sent to the actuators per second dictates how often we can control the vehicle. A higher throughput allows more smooth control without abrupt turns and brakes. We set a 10 Hz throughput requirement for our vehicles, which is much higher than how often a human driver mani manipulates vehicles. It's worth noting that the throughput requirement is relatively easier to meet than latency due to pipelining. The figure shows the latencies and energy consumptions of three perception tasks, depth estimation, object detection, and localization on an Intel CPU a NVIDIA GTS GPU and NVIDIA TX2. The results shows that TX2 is much slower than the GPU, leading to a cumulative latency of over 800 milliseconds for perception alone. The results also shows that TX2 has only marginal, sometimes even worse, energy reduction compared to the GPU due to the long latency. The GPU is faster than the FPGA on depth estimation and object detection, mainly due to the highly parallel and irregular operations in this image processing pipeline. The FPGA is faster than the GPU on localization because localization inherently lacks massive parallelisms and is more lightweight than other perception tasks. The results from our hardware exploration motivates the on-vehicle computing system design, which is illustrated by the figure. It includes sensors, an on-vehicle server and a FPG computing platform. We map sensing to the Zinc FPG platform, and we assign the planning task to the CPU, mainly because planning for micro-mobility is lightweight. On our computing system, the planning only contributes to about 1% of end-to-end -end latency. Our design offloads 
localization front end onto the FPJ, while leaving other perception tasks on the GPU and the CPU. This partition also frees more GPU resources for depth estimation and object detection, and further reducing the end-to-end -end latency. When both scene understanding and localization executed on GPU, they compete for resources and slow down each other. And in this configuration, scene understanding takes about 120 milliseconds. When localization is uploaded to the FPGA, the localization and the scene understanding are executed in parallel. The latency of scene understanding reduced to about 77 milliseconds. Overall, the perception latency improves by about 1.6 times. This section briefly talks about the FPJ front-end and back-end for localization task. A typical vision-based localization system includes two components, the front-end and the back-end. In short, the front-end extracts image features and associate features in consecutive frames to physical landmarks. It incrementally deduces the robot's motion by applying geometry constraints on the associated image, Im image features. The backend tries to minimize errors introduced from the process and measurement noises of the front end. It performs optimization on a batch of observed landmarks and tracked poses to improve the localization's accuracy. The figure shows the architecture of the FPJ frontend. We use ORB feature for the frontend algorithm and implement fast detection, brief descriptor, and the stereo matching algorithm on the FPJ. Compared with the CPU implementation, the FPGA implementation is about five times faster and reduce 96 percentage power consumption. For backend, we implement bundle adjustment algorithm on FPGA. Essentially, bundle adjustment is a joint nonlinear optimization problem which produce jointly optimal 3D structure and camera parameters estimations. Basically, algorithm solving the bundle adjustment problem includes five parts, which are Jacobian updates, sure elimination, Cholesky factorization, cost function computation, and gain ratio evaluation. Jacobian linearized the nonlinear problem. Sure elimination and Cholesky factorization solve the linear equation. And the cost of function computation and the gain ratio evaluation control the steps of each iteration. We, in, we implement sure el elimination and Jacobian on FPGA which are the most computationally intensive parts of the backend. Other algorithm modules are implemented on the embedded processor on FPGA. Compared with Intel CPU, backend FPGA is about 10 times faster and reduce about 92% percentage power consumption. The last part is our ongoing work and the conclusion. There is a problem left by our front-end and back-end FPJ design. Due to the huge logic and on-chip memory consumption, 
It's hard to implement a full localization system on a single FPGA. Our ongoing work of FPGA local localization system, which is published in this year's HPCA conference, address this problem. It invents a unified localization hard hardware architecture for efficiency and flexible localization and resource constraints. Here is a summary of the paper. It presents a concise summary of Persepian's effort on designing the on-vehicle computing system for our commercial autonomous vehicles. By thoroughly characterize the workloads, we adopt a heterogeneous computing platform, and we show that the advantage of offloading localization workloads onto a FPGA platform. Thank you.